In the time it takes to drive through one street in Chicago, you can travel half the world. Welcome to Devon Avenue, the road locals call the most diverse street in America. New immigrants to the U.S. come here to the northern boundary of Chicago to find inexpensive housing, acceptance, and the comforts of the old country. Global village type, like Indian style, look like India. And yeah, we don't look like America. On a short ride, you can have a bagel breakfast in a Jewish deli, a taco lunch, Afghan-style green tea, and a curry dinner. I think America, you know, there was a thinking about like the melting pot. It is more like a, a salad bowl, you know. People are keeping their identities, their heritage, their culture intact while being, the lar being part of the larger American experience. The streets are a united nations of ethnicities with the mingled aromas of the world's kitchens and its accents. All kind of languages, either Arabic, Assyrian, Hindi language, Tamil, the southern part. In the 1960s, this was mainly a Jewish neighborhood. Now, portions have been renamed in honor of Gandhi, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, and of course, Golda Meir. Wave after wave of immigrants have enriched Devon Avenue. In a short ride, you can roll through Little Pakistan, Little India, Little Arabia, and Little Israel, all one right after the other, just like on a map. India's Patel family has done well here, just a short drive from the Baghdad Barbershop and the Athens Beauty Salon. In Asia, Pakistanis and Indians bicker, but not here, locals say. I think it's the, it's the American, American way of life. Um, you know, people come here, we understand like how America is about tolerance and, and acceptance. I think those conflicts were, I'm not saying they went away, but they were somehow put um, on the back burner. In other words, the residents of Devon Avenue may bring their culture to America, but they leave the old animosities in the rear view. John Hendrick, Al Jazeera, Chicago.